Okay, these are models of a developing embryo at the very earliest stages, starting with the fertilized oocyte, and then moving through the stages of cleavage, where the cell is cut into smaller and smaller cells, each cell called a blastomere. We go from a two cell to four to eight, and this model shows a solid ball of cells called a morula, anywhere from 16 to 32 cells. The next stage shows this whole structure developing a cavity in the middle called a blastocyst cavity, and now you can identify two different groups of cells. This inner group called the inner cell mass becomes the embryoblast. The outer group called the outer cell mass becomes the trophoblast. This model just shows those two structures a little bit larger. Here's the embryoblast and the trophoblast. This model shows this structure as it is implanting in the uterus, and you can see changes in the embryoblast. It's formed two layers of cells. A tall columnar layer called the epiblast and a small cuboidal layer called the hypoblast. The hypoblast is adjacent to this blastocyst cavity. The epiblast develops its own cavity and a membrane surrounding it. This is the developing amnion and the amniotic cavity.